welcome back. First time I've done a haul video in a while, and I'm sorry, I wanted this to come out last week, but I couldn't because I actually got bucked by customs. I had to pay $300 in import duties, and I only spent $400 in the haul in total, so that sucked. This is 10 kilograms. It was 750 yuan to ship to Vancouver, Canada. It took 11 days with SAL. That's the details. I already opened everything and stuff, so yeah, that's it. First item, cheap uh, 50 yuan RC jacket. It's got weird patches on it. I'm gonna take it off and they're stitched on pretty badly too. The sleeves, they aren't leather. They're the same material as the here. And I don't know what these mean. Of there is me on without giving up 911. F, this starts today, tomorrow. Dinner, and it's got some like motivational messages on there. This is just some random Chinese brand I found on Taobao. This is decent. I'm gonna take the patches off and do some DIY work on them. But yeah, not bad for the price. Next was this vintage style, like 71 Arizona shirt. This one's really nice. The print on it, if you can hear it. The print is kind of shitty and it's got like fake low quality distressing on, on the lighters. The horse, uh, Here's the tag, in a, in a loot, whatever that means. Yeah, blank is good. The print is, I guess, decent, but it's budget. It was only 70 yuan. Yeah, so this is pretty nice. I'll make you quick on this one. This is just a Nelly shirt. I bought, I bought an XL. It fits me smaller than a medium. So size up what, three times. Quality is fine, just blank shirt. I say size up three times, maybe even four. So yeah, just cheap Nelly shirt. Next, this, I think this was 50 yuan. This Thrasher shirt, it's all right. Here's the tags, I bought a medium. I'd say size up, again, I'd say size up twice on this. The print, the print is decent, the print is good, but it's also supposed to be smaller. And again, the back of it's blank. And yeah, size up twice, decent shirt, decent price. That rhymed. Yeah, anyway, pretty good. Next are these three hockey jerseys. They were all 20 yuan, but the Canadians one was 30, I think. And if you're wondering why the logos are all fucked up, that's because when I bought this, I ordered it. I ordered it with, um, filled vacuum packaging and just all fucked up the logos. Let me get a closer look. And they're all just decent. Of course, they're not that good because I bought the dirt cheap ones. And this, you know, feels fine. The numbers are, the number font is way off. This is too big. This is too big. The material, it was only 19 you want, so it's pretty good. So it was good. And here, this front logo again, different material, tag, this embroidery, and this patch. And uh, I'll and I'll show all the name and numbers. Here's the back. Here are all the name and numbers: Weber, uh, Henrik Sedin, Sidney Crosby. And again, the I'm gonna start with this one. Again, the logo. This is all fucked up. And I've never owned one of these, one of these jerseys. But as you can see, the holes—they're not actually holes. They're just printed on the number, and the numbers are a bit thick too. Here's the name. Names, lighters are a bit too thick, but that's what, all, that's what happens. That's all hockey jerseys. And this, oh yeah, this one also has a fight strap. I'm actually gonna do a full comparison with the uh, this jersey right here, the Weber one, just to show you all the comparisons and what's different in the flaws. And again, this, the font is way, the font with a three is way off. Here's the fight strap, not very good. Reebok logo right there. And then tags, this one didn't come with tags. But again, and here's the Weber one, again. Letters are too thick, and uh, all this is fucked up. This also came with a stain. But this was like, these were all really cheap, but these, I think these were 1.5 kilograms to ship out. So they costed more to ship than they did to buy. So honestly, they're decent. If you don't care, then definitely pick one of these up. Full comparison video on the Canadian's jersey. Uh, on the Canadian's jersey. I'm gonna make
make that after. Next, these were a pair of 40 yuan pants. These are in a size XL and they still don't, don't even, and they're still not even that long. Here's another pair of pants that I have and you can see the length difference uh, between the two. Yeah, so overall these fit really bad. Yeah, they're extremely thin and uh, yeah, don't buy these. I bought a lot of budget stuff in this haul that turned out to be pretty shit. That sucks. So gotta move on from that. Yeah, don't buy these. Next are these two vintage hats. They were, I think like, yeah, they were under 20 yuan each. And here's the, uh, here's the front. Ah, I got this in red and navy. I thought this was black. It looked black in the agent pictures. But yeah, here's this. Right there. And it's got some little threads right there. So I'm just stressing in the front. Here's the back. But they're good. They're kind of, they're kind of short which is fine just some nice tricker hats for the summer overall these are these are really good for the price and uh, i'd say definitely cop them next is this drippy uh nba philadelphia 76ers uh running thing i bought this from a listing it was like 41 because i had a coupon it was like, I thought I was gonna be getting like a vintage NBA shirt or something, but I got this. I have no idea what this is. And look, it's got a zipper. That's cool. I, um, yeah, uh, cop. Next, this like 51 Dia squared hat. It's got some cool, it's got some distressing on it. Here's the tag, just says Dia squared two. Here's the back embroidery front embroidery it's got some loose stitching that's fine completely ripped up here yeah it's got some cool distressing overall it's a really nice hat i kind of wish i got the blue one instead but this one's nice so for the price definitely a cop next i think these were four yuan each bunch of nike socks as you can see the swoosh really uh varies in in quality but they're nike socks I don't think anyone's gonna care, especially of how cheap they were. And the quality fabric, they feel fine. But I've noticed with a lot of things with the rep socks is that they all fit small. If you are over size 10, I'd say probably you don't wanna buy these because they'd be too tight. They fit me fine. They're pretty decent for the price. And if you're under size 10, then definitely cop these. They've got a bunch of uh, other different colors too. They got like the whole color wheel or something. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, yeah, these are good. And definitely cop these. All right. One of the last items in this haul. Two kind of Rick Owen styled shorts. These were only like 10 yuan each. So they're really cheap. They're also pretty thin, but that's fine. They're comfortable too. They've got these really long kind of distressed uh, jaw strings. The tags. There's no tags on them. Yeah, black and gray, 10 you on each. Overall, really good cop if you don't really want to spend like 10 bucks on shorts. Anyway, yeah, I'm happy with these. Next up is this blank uh, unbranded flannel. This I think was maybe 30 yuan, some, somewhere around that price range. And uh, yeah, it's not bad for the price. If you do buy this, I kind of recommend sizing up because it does sit a little small. But yeah, anyway, uh, cheap flannel. Uh, gonna wear this for summer and Good cup, good quality. Again, just some unbranded Taobao. It's got this, and yeah. And this is a size medium. And then, yeah, this is a size medium. So anyway, it's pretty decent. Next, I think these are 20 yuan sunglasses. They come in this travel case. Again, these are just unbranded Taobao. There's some aviators, they're pretty nice. I'm not gonna be wearing these a lot. I'm just gonna probably wear these like overall not bad again it could damage my eyes but uh i hope not i'm not gonna be wearing them much anyway so anyway yeah pretty nice for the price and now we're getting on to the good stuff i don't want to spend too long on this because i want to make a more in-depth review on these but here are the one each 118 yuan kentucky dunks these are really budget and they look really good fall you probably noticed right off the bat is on the swoosh there's no white stitching where there should be 
I could just sew on, sew it on with a needle. And the leather quality on these feel like really good for the, for budget. The tongue is pretty padded. It's not doesn't really matter, but still, Nike text on the back. Excuse my long ass nails. Pretty good, really good. Nike tag right here, and then made it Vietnam. All these. The inside. Yeah. There's the bottom of the shoe. There's no texture on here. I don't know if there's supposed to be. Oh yeah, also, big fall. These are the Kentucky Dunks. They're not SB. They're not supposed to be Nike SB, but these kind of are an SB style, but that's fine. Overall, it is a really good budget pair. And another pair of Dunks. These are a pair of 99 Yuan Medicom Dunks. I would have bought the uh, the 158 store ones, but I bought these back in January, back when he hasn't even released them yet. Pretty good, really good for the price. I'm just gonna show off here, like the tags and everything. Tag, the insole, Nike. Here's the swooshes. This one is texture, but this one, this one doesn't say a Nike SB on it. And one of the really the biggest flaws, the at symbol, it's, there's a line that's supposed to go through the A, like a, I'll just show up, put a picture up and side by side. Oh uh, yeah, there's pretty bad glue stains right here too. Uh, here, if you want to see like the movement of the, the care. Yeah, but overall these are really good for the price. Uh, I bought these in a size 44.5, I'm a size 44, and they fit me really snug. Oh yeah, and the back material, I think it might be wrong, but I don't know. Here, inside, all leather. Another thing that's pretty annoying is that you can see the, see these like straps, or like these things. They stick out pretty much. They stick. They stick out pretty uh pretty far. But other than that, really nice pair on a budget. That was my uh, ten kilogram haul, all budget stuff, and it kind of sucks because like half of the haul doesn't even fit me properly, so I'm probably just gonna give it away. And yeah, here's just the pile of clothes, and uh, again, I'm gonna make an in-depth review or an in-depth comparison on the Adidas Montreal jersey. Don't really want to make the intro too long, so that's it. See ya. Then I go.